Max Wilson here, creator of AIN, Artificial Newscast. I'm here to bring you the best and funniest moments of my artificial newscast. My artificial intelligence, facial recognition technology will determine if this Barbie doll truly has Down syndrome. Incorrect face match. It appears the Barbie that's supposed to have Down syndrome doesn't actually have Down syndrome. Cartoonist Scott Adams, who is the creator of Dilbert, believes Vice President Kamala Harris is a drunk speaker. Scott Adams believes Kamala Harris gets nervous in front of large crowds and drinks herself into oblivion to calm her nerves down. Here's a video of her acting a little tipsy. Everything is in context. My mother used to, she would give us a hard time sometimes and she would say to us, I don't know what's wrong with you young people. You think you just fell out of a coconut tree? <laughs> you exist in the context of all in which you live and what came before you. Residents at a luxury apartment building in Maryland are facing a significant trash collection problem as the scheduled strong and independent women tasked with the job have failed to pick up the trash. The accumulation of waste has reached alarming levels, resulting in a clogged ninth floor trash chute. In a recent social media incident, tech billionaire Elon Musk has found himself facing backlash after posting a tweet that compared the immortal George Soros to a character from the X-Men series. The controversial comment drew attention from various quarters, leading to a confrontation between Musk and a CNBC reporter seeking clarification on his remarks. In a recently shared viral video, an extremely fat woman raises concerns about perceived discrimination faced by individuals with extremely fat bodies during air travel. The video captures a woman struggling to navigate the narrow aisle of an airplane due to her fat ass, requiring her to walk sideways to reach her seat, which will soon break. The footage has ignited a heated discussion on social media platforms regarding the accessibility and comfort of airline seating arrangements. In a lackluster move to challenge the normal image of sexualized depictions of women in video games, Epic Games, the renowned video game developer, has taken a stand by promoting fat, blubbery female characters. The video, which quickly gained attention across social media platforms, depicts a previously sexy female character undressing, and her fat rolls pop out like a can of biscuits exploding. Instead, she chooses to remain fat and blubbery, encouraging players to embrace their fat and blubbery bodies. In an exhilarating and unexpected turn of events, a highly skilled professional Mario Kart race car driver came agonizingly close to clinching victory in a fiercely contested competition, only to have his dreams shattered by a seemingly harmless banana peel. The incident unfolded on Sunday at the North Face has gone woke. In a weird ad, they show a drag queen dancing around in nature like it's the Teletubbies. We all would like to see this drag queen free solo a cliff. In other news, so many illegal immigrants have penetrated America. New York transformed into a Mexico movie. This Mexico movie look has spread across the east side of America, further proving the illegal immigrant issue is getting way out of hand. And just kidding, uh, the Mexico movie look in New York is not a Mexico movie look. It's actually caused by a massively fat and obese fire in Canada. That does it for the news today. And remember, you know, I'm the fake one and you all are the real ones. Let's end this with a funny meme Elon Musk shared on Twitter. Socrates, to be is to do. Kant, to do is to be. Scooby-Doo, dooby dooby doo Hey, transphobe. Lovely evening, isn't it? Not for you. Um, before the news begins, I have to warn you that my mouth is running low on battery power. Um, my mouth might stop working, but my voice will still be heard. Released in response to the UK government's request, Rumble defended its decision not to remove Russell Brand from its platform. President Biden couldn't even speak clearly at the UN the other day. At what point do the liberal voters see they've elected an incompetent leader? Now, it has to evolve our institutions and drive creative new partnerships. Let me be clear. Certain principles of our international system are sacrosanct. In need us evolve institutions and drive creative new partnerships. Let me be clear. Certain principles, international systems, are sancro, sacrosanct. The Grace Hopper Conference for Women in Tech, a prominent event designed to celebrate and empower women in the tech industry, 
was marred by controversy as hundreds of men allegedly exploited a loophole by identifying as non-binary to gain access to the event. The incident has left many women attendees deeply upset as the intruding men reportedly ignored keynote speeches by women and focused on job applications, diminishing opportunities for female participants. Or a very old person to carry, very, very old. I mean, like, really old. And they weigh, like, you know, ounces, right? He can't lift it. <laughs> Remember what he said? I'd like to take him to the back of the barn. <laughs> and I'd show him, I think I could go like this. <sighs> and he'd go down. The ADL is finding its, its organization in a bizarre situation. The ADL, also known as the Anti-Defamation League, is a strong supporter of Israel in this current war against Hamas. But the organization is also a supporter of BLM, which I just covered how BLM has sided with Hamas and the Palestinian population that largely supports Hamas. The ADL hasn't responded to BLM's support over Hamas and Palestine. The LGBTQ movement is bizarrely supporting Hamas and Palestine. Even though Hamas would most likely kill anyone who supports LGBTQ rights, that ends today's newscast. What the F happened to Joe Biden's chin? What's going on with Biden's chin? Wrong answers only. Why is there a nutsack on Joe Biden's chin? Why does Biden's chin look like a PlayStation controller? Do we have any plastic surgeons in the house? What happened to Biden's chin? Uh, it's time for a national conversation about Biden's chin. What the hell happened to Joe Biden's chin? If I were going to look into this, the first place I would look, I would check his balls to see if it looks like a chin. Because it could be one of these switcheroo things. That happens, right? You wake up one day and you're like, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah. Mr. Beast's Africa well controversy. Mr. Beast, the philanthropic YouTube sensation, decided to build 100 wells in Africa. And boy, did he stir up some shit. While many praised his efforts to provide clean water to those in need, other criticized him for being a white savior and questioned the long-term sustainability of the wells. Mr. Beast's response, I already know I'm gonna get canceled because I upload a video helping people. And to be 100% clear, I don't give a flying fuck. The video of Tiffany Gomez pointing to her passenger and saying, quote, that motherfucker is not real, sparked the conspiracy that she saw one of the lizards people. To make matters more bizarre, new footage shows that Gomez was warning the police that the airplane won't survive the flight, further adding to the conspiracy theory that there really was a lizard person on the airplane. Gomez admitted to regret over one of her recent social media posts, which inadvertently drew the attention of numerous individuals fixated on a seemingly innocent subject, her feet. The post which showcased Gomez in a casual setting unintentionally exposed her feet, leading to a barrage of comments from a subset of users who took a keen interest in her beautiful feet. Um, Tiffany, from the bottom of my heart, you cannot just be posting your dogs like that. You will be on WikiFeet for the rest of your life. Tiffany, going to end up on that Celebrity Feet website? Feet pics already? Damn. Tiff, let me help you with the internet. Also, let us know what you saw. We're not buying the bit. Feet pics, eat, really? You just keep on giving to the people. Girl, you can tell you are new to social media, never show your feet unless you charge for it, you're welcome. Those feet are not real. Someone forgot to warn Tiffany about posting feet on the internet. This is for you, Tiffany. Your feet are very popular. This check is for $69,420.69 from Feet Finders. I like how there's well, not a get, signature. Get a Sh sign no, it. No, yes. there's no signature there, on it. No, it, it is. Real. No, well, this is a ceremonial check. We will give you your bank account. Just give us your mother's maiden name and your social security after the show, and we're going to make sure it goes into your bank account. Well, actually, 50,000 of it came from one guy in Malaysia named Ian Miles Chong. Do not talk about Ian Miles Chong right now. Yes, one of it, 50K was from one guy. Elon Musk told advertisers who are boycotting X to go F themselves during a news interview. These past few weeks, advertisers are attempting to boycott X, so the platform is forced to censor people's opinions of the Israel and Palestine war. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? If somebody's going to try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go fuck yourself. But go fuck yourself. <laughs> is that clear? I hope it is. President Biden is in favor of cheating in the 2024 election. Here's a quote from President Biden. Well, I think if South Federer, South 
We start all more well, the fort the vote of the Faisal of the court make that they said. But he certainly support made against erection. And now question about down zero. And uh you see we double on down on about having then anyway. From an insurrectionist, sir? Well, I think it's certainly yourself self-evident. You saw it all. Now, whether the 14th Amendment applies or let the court make that decision. But you certainly supported an insurrection. And no question about it. None. Zero. And uh, he seems to be doubling down on about everything. Anyway. I'm not sure anyone understood what President Biden said. Let's have Santa Claus repeat what Biden was attempting to say. Well, I think it's self into yourself out of me. He saw it all. Well, the port did the bottle of the Faisal of the court made death for Sidney. But he'd certainly support me in an insurrection. And no question about. None. Zero. And, uh, he sees me doubling down on buttering in. Anyway. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That was funny. Thanks, Santa Claus. That does it for today's newscast. Remember, I'm the fake one. You all are the real ones. Merry Christmas. I think that's it. I think I fucking nailed it. That's all. That's all, folks. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and I'll see you next year for the funniest moments or something like that. I don't know. I don't know.